there. Oh, off to a great start. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle. Today, we're going to be doing something fun. We're gonna be making a vegan recipe from an icon and a legend, Natalie Portman. And I'm a big fan of Natalie's work. I just watched May December, crazy movie, based on a true story, kind of bananas, also Julianne Moore, chef's kiss. Anyway, Natalie Portman is vegan. But this video, she's just so darling. I mean, go check out the video yourself. <laughs> so I learned a lot in this video, specifically about her, but also just in general. First of all, Natalie Portman's been vegetarian since she was nine years old, because she's a bloody genius, and she thinks about things before you normally would think about those things. Unless you're someone who thought about those things at that age or even younger, you're also a genius. And then she went vegan when she was 30 years old after reading the book Eating Animals. She's just cool, okay? So like, and she's really talented and smart and gorgeous. So I like to do what she's doing. Now, this is going to be a chickpea stew. Here's the thing, in the picture, I don't see much stew. And I know there's a difference between soup and stew, but I'm a big soup fan. If you know me, you know I love my soup. I think stew is just thicker, chunkier maybe, and then like soup is more liquidy. That's my professional distinction. But it didn't look like there was a bunch of broth there, so I don't really know how that's a stew, but we'll see maybe, I don't know, maybe it was an optical illusion. What are we waiting for? Let's try this recipe. All right, so let's go over what you need for the recipe. So for this recipe, we need diced zucchini. We need two cloves of minced garlic. a can of chickpeas, cooked, obviously, and strained, drained, a 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes, two tablespoons of fresh parsley, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two tablespoons of red pepper flakes and salt to taste. Actually, there might be a measurement for the salt. Let me double check. Two teaspoons of, of kosher salt. And race to serve it over. For some reason, the dog is just laying here shaking and being dramatic. Lucille, honey, what's the problem? What's the problem, baby? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the stove. We're gonna stir this up, it says, until the garlic becomes fragrant. And actually, you want it over a medium-high heat. Okay, now we're adding these big, juicy tomatoes. Ooh, they look voluptuous. Damn. It says to crush them with the back of my spoon. Oh! Mm. YouTube, please don't demonetize this video. Then we're gonna bring that to a boil and reduce it to a simmer. And we're gonna let that simmer for like 20, 25 minutes. And that's it. That's pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. All right, so we've been waiting here for our stew. It's been about 25 minutes. It looks amazing. It definitely looks more liquidy, more stewy, if you will. I'm really excited to try this one, y'all. I got some rice here, ready to go. Rice maker was like the best thing I ever did for myself. I actually didn't even do it for myself. Ari's parents gifted it to me and it has changed my life. When I tell you I can smell the music in this dish, here she is. Ready? A moment of truth. I'm gonna get some rice, but I wanna mostly get the goods, the goodies. I wanna get a hunk of tomato in there. That is so yummy. And it's so simple. This has to be like one of the easiest vegan meals you can make. And it's cheap. Natalie really thinks of everything. She offered you good people something healthy, something quick, something easily to be made in a big batch and meal planned. Wow, it's nice and savory, a little sweet, from the tomato, and then it's got the zip from the pepper flakes. And the zucchini is just delicious. I mean, come on, it's really good. I'm gonna give this, as far as easy level goes, this gets like a solid 10 out of 10. This is beginner friendly. I mean, you put everything in one pot, you stew it. It really doesn't get much easier than that. It's quick, efficient, I love that. Easy weekday meal. And you can make a bunch and eat this for lunch, dinner, whatever. Flavor, it's simple, very light on the spices, but I like that there is some heat in it. I'm gonna give it an 8.87. I think I could do with just a little bit more complexity of flavor. I mean, I love tomatoes, so I could honestly just eat that whole can of the tomatoes, but it's delicious. I might myself add some mushrooms in there. I might do some roasted garlic, if you like make it ahead of time. I have a delicious meal for you. It's tasty. 
It's Natalie Portman's chickpea stew. I love Natalie Portman's uh, acting. Mm -hmm. Her food? Decent. I mean, what it is also, apart from uh, like a, like a tomato-based pasta sauce, like an arrabbiata or something like that, I'm just also not a big fan of tomato, <laughs> tomatoes in general. So. All of my food I have you try, you can't take any of these seriously because you don't like any fruits or vegetables. I do. I like the uh, I like the the chickpeas. I'm I don't, I'm not a big fan of like this big chunks of tomato. Like I example. love that. Yeah, she loves it. So if you like tomato, this is up your alley. By the way, but the thing is, I still like it despite it. You gotta try it. Delicious. Okay. Great job, Natalie. I hope you guys had a fun time. Thank you for having a cozy kitchen corner with me. And in the meantime, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this recipe, this video, this person, the lights, the cutting board, anything else you saw. Please tune in to mine and Aria's weekly podcast. Every Monday, we do Borderline Inappropriate where we talk about taboo topics. Now, all my socials are in my description, so you know where to find me. But let me know what celebrity recipe you'd like me to look into next, and I'll try it. Okay, thanks guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. There's also not that. What about that? Do we like that? Is that kind of nice? Definitely not that. That's kind of peaceful. Eh, I don't like that.